The International System of Electrical and Magnetic Units is an obsolete system of units used for measuring electrical and magnetic quantities. It was proposed as a system of practical international units by unanimous recommendation at the International Electrical Congress Chicago, 1893, discussed at other congresses, and finally adopted at the International Conference on Electric Units and Standards in London in 1908. It was rendered obsolete by the inclusion of electromagnetic units in the International System of Units at the 9th General Conference on Weights and Measures in 1948. <laughs> Earlier systems The link between electromagnetic units and the more familiar units of length, mass and time was first demonstrated by Gauss in 1832 with his measurement of the Earth's magnetic field, and the principle was extended to electrical measurements by Newman in 1845. A complete system of metric electrical and magnetic units was proposed by Weber in 1851, based on the idea that electrical units could be defined solely in relation to absolute units of length, mass, and time. Weber's original proposal was based on a millimeter-milligram-second system of units. The development of the electric telegraph an invention of Gauss and Weber demonstrated the need for accurate electrical measurements. At the behest of Thomson, the British Association for the Advancement of Science BA set up a committee in 1861, initially to examine standards for electrical resistance, which was expanded in 1862 to include other electrical standards. After two years of discussion, experiment and considerable differences of opinion, the committee decided to adapt Weber's approach to the CGS system of units, but used meter, gram and second as their absolute units. However these units were both difficult to realize and often impractically small. To overcome these handicaps, the BA also proposed a set of practical or reproducible units which were not directly linked to the CGS system but which were as near as experimental accuracy allowed equal to multiples of the corresponding CGS units the ba had developed two sets of CGS units the practical units were based on the electromagnetic set of units rather than the electrostatic set. Topic: 1893 system. The BA system of practical units gained considerable international support, and was adopted, with one important modification, by the First International Conference of Electricians Paris, 1881. The British Association had constructed an artifact representation of the ohm a standard length of resistance wire which had a resistance of 109 CGS units of electric resistance, that is 1 ohm whereas the International Conference preferred a method of realization that could be repeated in different laboratories in different countries. The chosen method was based on the resistivity of mercury, by measuring the resistance of a column of mercury of specified dimensions 106 cm times 1 square millimeter. however, the chosen length of column was almost 3 mm too short, leading to a difference of 0.28% between the new practical units and the CGS units which were supposedly their basis. The anomaly was resolved at another international conference, in Chicago in 1893, by a correction in the definition of the ohm. The units agreed at this conference were termed, "...international", 
units, to distinguish them from their predecessors. The 1893 system had three base units, the International Ampere, the International Ohm and the International Volt. The international units did not have the same formal legal status as the meter and the kilogram through the Meter Convention 1875, although several countries adopted the definition within their national laws e.g., the United States, through Public Law 105 of July 12, 1894. Overdefinition and the 1908 modification The 1893 system of units was overdefined, as can be seen from an examination of Ohm's law. V equals Irby Ohm's law, knowing any two of the physical quantities V, I or R potential difference, current or resistance will define the third, and yet the 1893 system defines the units for all three quantities. With improvements in measurement techniques, it was soon recognized that 1 vint does not equal 1 ain't times 1 ohm int. The solution came at an international conference in London in 1908. The essential point was to reduce the number of base units from 3 to 2 by redefining the international volt as a derived unit. There were several other modifications of less practical importance. The international ampere and the international ohm were formally defined in terms of the corresponding CGS electromagnetic units, with the 1893 definitions retained as preferred realizations. The preferred realization of the international volt was in terms of the electromotive force of a Weston cell at 20 degrees Celsius 1 as this type of cell has a lower temperature coefficient than the Clark cell. Several other derived units for use in electrical and magnetic measurements were formally defined, international coulomb. The electric charge transferred by a current of 1 international ampere in 1 second International farad The capacitance of a capacitor charged to a potential of 1 international volt by 1 international coulomb of electricity Joule 107 units of work in the CGS system, represented sufficiently well for practical use by the energy expended in one second by an international ampere in an international ohm. Watt 107 units of power in the CGS system, represented sufficiently well for practical use by the work done at the rate of 1 joule per second. Henry The inductance in a circuit when an electromotive force induced in this circuit is 1 international volt, while the inducing current varies at the rate of 1 ampere per second. <laughs> SI units With advances in the theory of electromagnetism and in quantity calculus, it became apparent that a coherent absolute system of units could only include one electromagnetic base unit. The first such system was proposed by Georgi in 1901, it used the ohm as the additional base unit in the MKS system, and so is often referred to as the MKS Omega system or the Georgi system. An additional problem with the CGS system of electrical units, pointed out as early as 1882 by Oliver Heaviside, was that they were not rationalized. That is they failed to properly take account of permittivity and permeability as properties of a medium. 
Georgi was also a great proponent of rationalization of the electrical units, the choice of electrical unit for the base unit in a rationalized system depends only on practical considerations, particularly the ability to realize the unit accurately and reproducibly. The ampere rapidly gained support over the ohm, as many national standards laboratories were already realizing the ampere in absolute terms using ampere balances. The International Electrotechnical Commission adopted the Georgi system with the ampere replacing the ohm in 1935, and this choice of base units is often called the MKSA system. The International Committee for Weights and Measures approved a new set of definitions for electrical units, based on the rationalized MKSA system, in 1946, and these were internationally adopted under the Meter Convention by the Ninth General Conference on Weights and Measures in 1948. Under this system, which would become the International System of Units (SI), the ohm is a derived unit. The SI definitions of the electrical units are formally equivalent to the 1908 international definitions, and so there should not have been any change in the size of the units. Nevertheless, the international ohm and the international volt were not usually realized in absolute terms but by reference to a standard resistance and a standard electromotive force respectively. The realizations recommended in 1908 are not exactly equivalent to the absolute definitions. Recommended conversion factors are 1 ohm int approximately equals 1.00049 ohms 1 vint approximately equals 1.00034 valtha slightly different factors may apply for individual standards in national measurement laboratories as the international ampere was usually realized by means of an ampere balance rather than electrolytically, 1 ain't equals 1 a. The conversion factor for the «electrolytic» ampere can be calculated from modern values of the atomic weight of silver and the Faraday constant. 1 alec equals 1 equals topic see also equals conventional electrical units equals topic notes and references equals 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 notes <laughs>